Hey, hey, what's up guys? Prince of Mastodon Vlogs here, and I'm pretty excited. The spooky season is upon us. And you know what that means, lots of Halloween content on my channel. And um, this video will be focused on my upcoming Halloween Horror Nights coverage. I'm going to give you my my most anticipated house lists from least anticipated house to most anticipated house. Um... And this gets give you some general thoughts about this upcoming HHN32 event, but I'm pretty excited about this one. So uh, before I start, um, I did sign up for the uh, the Six House tour, which is behind the screams HHN tour, where I get to go through six houses at Halloween Horror Nights with the, with the lights on, and I'll get to take pictures in some of the rooms of these houses. But today they sent me an email from Universal. And they announced what the six houses of my tour were going to be. So I'll be getting the Universal Monsters Unmasked. I'll be getting Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. Stranger Things 4. Yeti Campground Kills. Dueling Dragons Choose Thy Fate. And Blood Moon Dark Offerings. Sorry if I sound kind of nasally. I, I'm getting over something that really congested my my system, so I sound really, really weird right now. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Those are the six houses on my tour. I might do the three house tour because I really do want to do the Last of Us house so I can take some pictures. And I also want to do the Icon house, uh, Dr. Oddfellows. And uh, I'm pretty sure the house that's not going to be on either tour is going to be the Exorcist Believer because that movie hasn't even come out yet. I doubt they're going to let us take pictures of these detailed rooms, which might which might spoil the the actual upcoming movie, which comes out in October. So yeah, I'll be doing that. Um, I'll be vlogging that for you guys. Um, I'll be doing the three house tour for you guys. Um, I'll be doing the the preview of the Halloween Horror Nights foods for you guys. I'll be doing the Cabana Base Day, so I can show you the the Chaka, the sorry the Chucky H H N pop up experience. I think that's going to be five photo ops with Chucky themes to it at Cabana Bay. That's going to be awesome. And then I'll be doing early coverage of of the Halloween Horror Nights event for you guys. I'll be getting a preview, and I'll give you my thoughts on each house. I'll even rank the houses, in my opinion, from least to greatest, or something like that. Anyways, uh, the ten houses, you already know what the ten houses are. I'm just going to fly through them. I'm going to tell you what my most anticipated uh, houses are. Going up to my most anticipated house. By the way, every house is going to be amazing, I know, because every year, every house is generally amazing. I say generally because some houses disappointed me, but for the most part, every house is generally good. So, let's start from my number 10. I'll work my way down to number 1. Number 1 being my most anticipated house. So, let's see here. Where is my list? I got a list here. Here it is. Alright, so number 10 for me is going to be the Yeti. Camp Campground Kills, and this was rumored to be a Bigfoot house, but honestly, Bigfoot Yeti, they look kind of the same, so whatever, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, they had a Yeti house a few years ago, which to me, it was kind of, it's kind of bizarre. It, it had some nice, you know, rooms to look at, but then you had these giant Yetis just walking around, and honestly, it felt like they were just walking around. <laughs> Uh, but it was, it was still a decent house. I know some people loved the Yeti house. I, I did not love it. But it's coming back. Well, it's not coming back, but there are Yetis coming back to HHN, so that might excite some people. Me, it's going to be campy, so it's going to be fun. I'm sure it'll be a good house, but I'm not looking forward to it the most. My number nine house is going to be The Darkest Deal. Um, the story with this is... I think it's basically a musician makes a deal with the devil. He sells his soul so he can make some uh, some really good music, something like that. Um, there's been movies like this and TV shows. Like uh, Ralph Macchio did a movie a long time ago called Crossroads. That involved the devil making a deal with the devil at a crossroads to become great musicians. I know Supernatural had an episode where they went to the went to a crossroads where the townspeople uh, made a deal with the devil, in which in which case, after a year, they would lose their soul or something like that. I forgot. So, um, the concept sounds really good. The setup sounds really good. We'll see how they execute it. I don't know what to expect from this kind of house. 
Um, that's why it's number nine. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, guys. Um, my number eight house will be uh, Blood Moon, the Dark Offerings. So if you look at the, the font on the Universal website showing uh, the Blood Moon, it looks kind of like like witchcraft-y-ish symbols. Maybe some pagan sim pagan symbols. I, I can't. I'm not really sure. So I'm not really sure what to expect from this house. But everybody knows that during the Blood Moon, there's a lot of supernatural, uh, well, a lot of superstitions about the Blood Moon. You know, you can become stronger, you become closer to, you know, the spirit world, stuff like that. So we'll see uh, what this house is going to be like. I'm sure it'll be great too, but it's not something I'm anticipating the most. So my number 7 house is going to be Dueling Dragons Choose Thy Fate. And this is based off the Dueling Dragons roller coaster. So th that's pretty interesting. Um, I know there's a lot of Dueling Dragon fans out there who love the ride. They miss that ride. I rode Dueling Dragons when it first came out. I rode both tracks. I get kind of sick on roller coasters. Uh, but I'm pretty excited that they're building a house based off the ride. Because in the house, I doubt I'm going to you know, up Chuck anywhere. So that's going to be pretty cool. And we'll see what they do with this house. I think it'd be kind of funny if some of the characters were wearing like, you know, like roller coaster tracks around them. So it looks like they're the roller coaster coming at you. I know that's, that's dumb sounding. That's dumb. I'm sorry I said that. Um, number six for me is Dr. Oddfellows. And honestly, to be honest, I am really anticipating the house, this house a lot. Because I know icon houses of past years have been extravagant and amazing. So even though this is number six on my list, that's just showing my bias towards IP houses. Um, in terms of original houses, Dr. Oddfellow is going to be my, my most anticipated original house. And I'm sure it's going to be probably my number two or number three favorite house. We'll see how, how well it is. But if it's anything like, like past icon houses, it's going to be great. So uh, we'll see. I, I don't know what to expect from this house, but I do expect greatness from an icon house. Dr. Oddfellow was uh, Jack the Clown's boss at one point. Jack the Clown got murdered by him and then he murdered uh, Dr. Oddfellow. It was kind of a back and forth thing they had going. So uh, we'll see. Maybe they'll have a, a cameo by Jack the Clown. I don't know. So my number five through number one list, it's going to show my bias towards IP houses. These are all IP houses. I love IP houses. For me, what separates Universal from other theme park uh, Halloween events is that Universal gets the the rights to show these houses in exact, well, near exact detail. So it's like you're in the TV show or movie or whatever, the video game. So that's why I love Universal's IP houses. It's what really makes Universal shine. Like everyone has original houses. Universal does it really well because of their budget. But for me, it's all about the IP houses from Universal. So number five on my most anticipated list would be The Last of Us. I love the fact that this is based off the video game. I never played the video game, but I've seen the video game. I've I've demoed the video game, but never played it all the way through. But I definitely watched the TV show. The TV show was fantastic. And from what I understand, the video game and the TV show are semi-close, closely close, similar to each other, so... If they're similar, I'm going to love this house, and I can't wait to freaking see this house. I even have The Last of Us a white t-shirt that came out um, last month or so, and it's pretty unique because most HHN shirts are not white, they're black. Number four on my most anticipated house list is Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. This should probably be higher because every year they always put Chucky on the shirts, they put Chucky in the scare zones, they put Chucky in a photo op, they put Chucky on their merch, but they never had a Chucky house. Not until now. Um, I was listening to the Universal podcasts on the YouTube webpage for Universal, and they were talking about this house being about Chucky, who's not uh, very pleased with Universal not having enough uh, murderers with his doll, so Chucky's going to break the fourth wall. Something like that. I'm not sure what the story's going to be. Uh, from what I understand, this is going to be based uh, loosely on the TV show. But from what I heard on the YouTube Universal podcast, it sounds like it's going to be something different. But, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. I'm choking on my excitement here. 
Sorry that I showed that. Anyways, they've always teased Chucky. He's finally coming, so this is going to be a historic event for Chucky. And um, I'll be going to Cabana Bay at some point. I'm going to show you guys the pop-up experience for Chucky. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like crying. That's how excited I am. Let's, let's go to number three. Number three is the Exorcist Believer House. This is exciting because this house, this movie hasn't come out yet, which this house is based upon. The movie doesn't come out until October. So Halloween Horror Nights will be almost over by the time we get to see The Exorcist Believer. They have trailers online right now, but the, the movie's not out yet. So that makes this house pretty exciting. On the YouTube podcast, they described it as being a... Uh, a, a trailer, like a, a living walk-in trailer where you get to go through the house and it's like being in the trailer. So we'll see how this is. I love the first Exorcist movie. I read the book on it and it was pretty freaking good. So I'm pretty excited about that. I got the shirt for that too. Also another white HHN shirt. I'll be sporting all my my HHN 23 shirts throughout, the, throughout my vlog. So if you're excited about that, I hope you're excited because... I just made that a thing. Also, uh, number, number two will be Stranger Things 4. I, I cannot wait for Stranger Things 4, guys. I, I'm so excited that Stranger Things has finally come back after a few years of being absent from Universal. Because that's one of the houses that brought so many people in who'd never been to HHN. This brought them in, and it made HHN even bigger. So, I'm pretty excited for Stranger Things 4. Walking into the intro, and then you... Or, you know, through the entrance and you hear the intro theme playing in your ears. It's just, it just brings back so no so much nostalgia. So many feelings from, from you know, more glorious years. My number one most anticipated house, guys, is going to be the Universal Monsters Unmasked. From previous years, the Universal Monster House has always been great. Last year, that house, even though I slammed it at the, at the start of my vlogs, I ended up loving it the most. It just got so good. Like, they put more more characters in, and the characters, they just really nailed it. So, I'm anticipating Universal Monsters Unmasked quite a bit. And this time they have four Universal Monsters in it. You have the Invisible Man, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Phantom of the Opera, guys. That's, that's four Universal Monsters... I haven't seen them at an HHN house, so this is exciting stuff. I'm mostly excited for The Invisible Man. I want to see how creative they get with with revealing The Invisible Man. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I also want to see what the um, what the Phantom is going to look like. Is he going to look like he did in the the old Universal movie about him? Uh, we'll see. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that I'm so nasally right now. I hope I'm not scaring you guys away. Not, not, not the good scare. This is the, the kind of scare that's gross. I mean, gross is kind of good for horror, but not not for everybody. Anyways, guys, that's my most anticipated list. I am so excited for this year. Um, Yeah, if you guys haven't done so already, uh, go to the Universal Podcast. And then they're going to be playing, um, you know, there's people talking about what some of these houses are going to be like. And, you know, they'll give you some backstory to some of these original houses, too. That's going to be very helpful for some of these houses that don't have, you know, the IP license behind them, so you don't have that backstory that you already know through movies and TV shows. These podcasts will help uh, fill in that, that gap for you guys. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys are excited. You're going to see me at this event. I, I'm working a lot, though, so I'm going to squeeze in as many HHN nights as I can, given my, my very limited uh, freedom. So thanks for watching this, guys. Tell me what your favorite most anticipated houses will be uh, coming into the event. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see my coverage of HHN uh, 32, because I'll be, I will be covering this. I'll be covering a lot of these things really early, too. So uh, thanks, guys.